Hello. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Norwegian 737 project. <laughs> S1, you recognize him from uh, the previous video when we went to the flight simulator convention. Uh, so it was 11 p.m. and me personally I've been here since 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, how many hours straight that is, I don't really know. And Juan, when did you come over? four or five hours ago and we've been sanding 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 I had him clean the shop there a little bit and I was so happy because uh, things were really starting to get really really messy in here it really looks like crap so this shop needs to be clean before we start anything else but thought maybe I'd show you guys something you want to do the honors Juan <laughs> no, I was thinking about shooting you, dude. No. <laughs> what do you think? The roof is complete. We finally got the paint on it. Um, let me tell you, that's that's something I never want to do it again the amount of work that takes that required from you to sand this put bondo on it spackle sand spackle sand is unbelievable and still there are a few spots on the roof that needs to be fixed but yeah there's look at the window is that where you're pointing yeah yeah i see the one when, when the roof was upside down i had a hard time seeing these these ones in Norway, we call it a holiday whenever we screw up and we forget a few <laughs> minor details. But I really think we got the windows right. There's the loud the speakers. I can't wait to get this thing hooked up. And uh, of course, the second we threw the roof on, we just had to put the overhead panel in there to see how it looked. Uh, so. Let me borrow the camera there for a little bit and I'll take you on a side view too. Looking in through the windows. I really gotta say that this is uh, something I'm really proud of. It came out excellent. It really came out excellent. Where's the front part of the roof right there? And, uh, we got in those dummy screws, you see, like the one I did on the side walls right there. I got them up on the eyebrows too. Um, I don't know what more to tell you guys. What do you think? You have anything more you want to add? I think it looks really good. I think you guys need to have a good understanding of what uh, Shetel here does in between every video. In between every video, there's hours and hours and hours and hours of work. And you don't really appreciate it until you get your hands dirty. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, you go, you grow so freaking tired of, uh, of uh, dealing with these small items or details. You, you kind of wonder if you're going crazy or, and you start regretting that you started the whole goddamn process of building a flight simulator. But when I look at the results like this, I am super happy. I really am super, super happy. Because things are really starting to pay off right now. It is paying off big time for me. Doing the volume of work without lacking on any of the quality is really difficult. It I, is. I found out. And I've only helped with a little bit of the inside and painting the outside. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, pretty, but but it's definitely worth it. It is. It is worth it. So that, guys, that's the roof. And when the next video arrives, you're probably gonna see me um, working on my yoke mechanism. Because now. It's getting really close to uh, to firing her up. We can start building the computers. 
everything that's that goes inside the flight sim it's getting really really close now but guys I I don't really I don't have much more to say so I guess we'll just hang up and we'll talk later and thanks to everybody that subscribed yeah thanks to everybody that subscribes I'll see you guys next time in the shop bye bye now